getting answers for you. Cleveland 19 News starts now. Water quality and purity have come into the spotlight after the Flint water crisis, as well as issues many people have had recently here in Northeast Ohio. So which filtration systems work best and does price affect performance? Danny Carlson is filtering facts from fiction to get answers on what will keep your family safe. Just follow the beats. Every early Saturday morning, Titan's Gym in Menor is home to these weekend warriors. Punching, lunging, and sweating, meaning water is essential to us every Saturday, especially. So who better to ask about water filters? Do you have a water filter, like a pitcher filter at home? I've had a Brita for many, many years. I think water filters are kind of a waste of money. Are they? We wanted to put it to the test, going to the store and buying four different brands of filters that go in pitchers. Brita, Pure, Great Value, which is Walmart's home brand, and Zero Water. If you're like me, you're probably thinking they all pretty much do the same thing, just with different packaging. Even as a consumer, I just assumed, well, they're promoting it, the other ones just aren't promoting it. Exactly, and I guess I kind of made that assumption in the initial phases of this. We took all of the pitcher filters to CWM Laboratories, a lab certified by the EPA to test drinking water. But then we had another problem. Since we already know from our previous story that Cleveland's drinking water is already pretty good, we had to figure out with CWM how best to test. Then we started to play with it in the lab a little bit, if you will. We spiked the samples with certain levels of lead and, and other contaminants. Considering all of the different filters that we tested, were you surprised by which filter did the best and which didn't? Yeah, personally I was, yes. So let's get to the results. First, we tested for total dissolved solids. That's the water term for anything like minerals or salts that dissolve just like lemonade does in your water. We spiked the water with 1,000 parts per million of dissolved solids and found out three of the four brands, Brita, Pure, and Great Value, filtered less than half of the solids out, while Zero Water removed almost everything. The brand we and the lab hadn't even heard of. So let's move on to lead. Zero Water, the front runner from that dissolved solids test, has a big bright yellow sticker right on the front saying that it removes lead. And here's another important lesson. Be sure to read the fine print on your filter because it turns out Zero Water was the only one of the filters we bought that claimed it removed lead. All the other ones uh, didn't specifically say it. Mm -hmm. So we thought it would still be interesting, though, just to see... Uh, in spite of the not making the claim of filtering lead, did they or did they not filter the lead out? We spike the water with 200 parts per billion of lead. The EPA's top limit for safer drinking water is 15 parts per billion. Brita, Pure, and Great Value all filtered out about 90%, still not technically safe to drink. Zero Water got rid of 98% putting their water well within those EPA guidelines. So this isn't just a gimmick? No, this is, I mean, I didn't take it apart, but that it's all in there. So you're um, disappointed that there was any? I am, I am, yeah, and, and a little surprised too. Doug Kellum is the CEO of Zero Water. When I reached out to all of the companies with the results, Zero Water offered to fly their CEO into Cleveland to talk with us. There's a huge gap between perception and reality. Well, obviously, I'm not spending enough on advertising. <laughs> we also talked about that other factor, cost. Callum admits zero water filters have shorter lifespans, meaning their product is about two and a half times more expensive than other competitors, but he pointed to our test to show why he thinks it's worth it. So I asked, if our Cleveland water starts out pretty good to begin with, why he thinks people should buy a zero water or any filter at all. I could probably go my entire life without wearing my seatbelt and it would never, ever impact me. And and that's, that's the way drinking water is too. Most people will never be impacted by any safety issues in their drinking water. The bottom line is I think people should just get the best filter they can get. You know, if that's, if that's us, that's great. If for their purposes it's something else, that's, that's fine too. Back to boot camp with our results. We compared Pure, Brita, Zero Water, and the Walmart brand. And Zero Water was really the only one that filtered out lead. What are your thoughts on oh, that? Wow. I'm going home and throwing out the Brita. That's period end of sentence, without a doubt, yeah. Does it really matter if you filter it? I think it does, because you just don't know what the heck you're drinking. Getting answers in Cleveland. Danny Carlson, Cleveland 19 News.
We reached out to each of the filter companies we tested. Great value never responded to our requests. Brita did. They pointed us to a new type of filter they recently came out with that does remove lead at similar levels to the zero water filter. The lab tested Brita's new filter. We have those results on our website right now. We provided the test results to Pure and asked repeatedly for a comment, but have not heard anything back.